here we go uh, the initial page was actually this one we've done a computer test we'll do it again just in case here it comes Okie doke. So now we're going to go to, of course we got any problems would be detected here, but it won't be shown here. If we click on continue on the bottom right, we can see that we have a fault on injection. Um, module 120. Therefore, we click on injection, we go down and we click on the diagnose. And here they are, two folds. two folds. Now we go and click on this exclamation mark triangle, and the two folds are going to be reported. Turbocharging solenoid valve control circuit, turbocharger pressure sensor circuit, which will be the map sensor on this one. As we can see on the right there, yellow, that means that they have been recorded, but they're no longer there. In fact, I've got no lights on the dashboard. I can erase the folds, I can then click again in validate and at this point I need to turn the ignition off, pressing twice. This should clear the folds, I'm going to turn everything off, the ignition on again, go back to the very beginning and rescan. It might work this way. If not, I would have to exit from clip and start again. It normally does. Computer interrogation. Almost done. Done. As you can see now, no problems detected. Having said so, these are all the modules available, all the ECU, airbag computer, UCH, air conditioning, instrumental panel, UPC, variable pass, which is the power steering, and the ABS. Uh, let's click on continue and we see that there are no faults left here. We can double check by clicking injection again and diagnose and we see a big fat zero there and a big fat zero here. Now this one would represent any faults existing and this one would represent any faults that have been stored but that were no longer there when we started the clip. Now we can do something else while we're here. We can click on record we can go and get the parameters, uh, engine speed, I need boost pressure, we need EGR valve position, we'll make it easier this time, we don't use the reference because I know that it's fine. All I do need is this four, definitely, the four fuel flow correction for each cylinder. And finally the accelerator position which I'm going to place at the very top. Excellent. Now we're going to put 300 seconds of start recording. It's working. Start the engine. Idle. I'm gently revving up. 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,003, oh, difficult to hold it. And this is what I'm trying to investigate at the moment. I'm investigating why between 1,500 revs and 2,000 revs is difficult to hold it. But anyway, here we go. 1600, 
Thousand reps. Well, we might as well let let it come down again because I see that the flow correction is actually stuck on one on all of them. So I can now stop the recording, save this file, which is going to be named 0041 that. Save it. At this point, what else can we do? Well, as far as I'm concerned for today, I would be finished. Just remembering that, uh, going back one page, this is what we're on at the moment, which is the normal testing, diagnose. That one will be repair. So on this page, you can actually go into all your repairs. There are other pages which I can show you a little bit further down the road. Um, and the most important one would be that of reprogramming. But we will get on to that as soon as I finish with this car because I need to get this back on the road. So for the moment, uh, this is all. And we'll catch up on the next one. Excellent. Thank you.